Welcome to another segment of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Rick George. Today we're going to cover how to go ahead and take a chain or a lock. Most of the time we'll come up onto an alarm and we'll have to make access to a property or something. And we, rather than destroy the lock, we're going to show you how to take a link out and do it in one man operation. Sometimes you don't have somebody else that's around to be able to help you do this. We're going to show you how to do this on a low technique and on a high technique. So this is two segments. Right now we're going to show it to you in real time. So you can see as Donnie puts his foot on there, he begins his cut. One of the things that's important when you're making this type of a cut is that once you pierce the link, make sure that the saw doesn't drop. Maintain control of your tools at all times. Now you've got access to the property and you can also secure it, allow the property owner to secure it properly. Sometimes the chain or the lock will be higher than it would normally be. It won't be at waist level, it might be at eye level. Your roof hook is still a very good option to be able to do this. This is the high technique to be able to pull that down. This is called the Treasure Coast Tensioner. It was invented by our very own Eddie Spaghetti. Okay, now this is a technique that you have to practice just like everything else that's shown on Fire Engineering's training minutes. Um, it's a very good technique and it allows the homeowner or the, the owner of the property to be able to secure his property and still using his chain with his lock. All you've done is removed a link from there. So once again, for me and Eddie, we wanna thank you very much for joining Fire Engineering's training minutes. I'm Rick George, Eddie Spaghetti.